and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Or as I like to call it, the season finale of season seven. Season seven, season Whoa. finale. What? Let's go. No, not no? let's go. Not let's go. Let's get a quick look at the leaderboard. Okay. Let's go. Look at the leaderboard. In first place, we currently have Becky Borst with 44 points. 44 Very points. impressive. Currently in quality eighth place and the Big Steve Award simultaneously is Goddess Princess Champion of the Universe. We'll see if uh, they're able to hold on to that for the rest of the day. And currently in our last place position is going to be Narwhal King yes. with 18 points. No, 18 uh, cents. 18 cents. On one point, which means uh, if anyone wants to beat that, they're pretty much going to have to pull that lone Mr. Mime card. The lone Mr. Mime. Which, which means, means that they also can't have eyeball energy. Yeah. We're about as the to type play. advantage. Precisely. Yeah. So, roll the intro, and we'll get started. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier, and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards, and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the wheel of energy where we can only hope we don't get eyeball because otherwise it will completely throw off quality eighth place but let's see. Last place. Last place. All over it today. Here we go. <laughs> what will <laughs> it Oh, it almost was. It's a raucous pummeling! A raucous pummeling! Let's go! All right, this should be fun. We're just gonna dive right in after we tell you about today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which are Metapod, Zubat, and Magneton. Ooh, okay, okay. Now, if, uh, if, the, if, the, if the cards are anything like the games, the Zubat should be pretty much every other card. I was gonna say, way yeah. to incentivize excitement around seeing a Zubat. Exactly, all right. So our first contestant of the day is Doe. Doe! Okay, Doe, let's see what we can do for for you. Also, one of the mods over on Discord, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, we're all aware of the mod curse, and of course we don't have any packs from this season so far to base on how Doe has been doing this season. This is the only pack, but we're about to find out. We got the Dark Energy. Teardrop, yeah, we got the Venonat, the Pidgey. Oh, the Metapod scores. The Metapod will score, the Ponyta, the Hitmonchan will score, the Sea King, the Butterfree, the Porygon will not score, the Helix Fossil will not score, and, and the there's the mine. Wow, so just three points there for or Doe, who uh, does, this is a Mr. Mime that someone could use to sneak into last place. Yes. For the last place Oh my gosh, could you imagine if a Zubat, in, in a way, I literally was just gonna say like, what happens if like a Zubat like ruins somebody's oh, last place contention? It's so gonna happen. It would feel no. like such a Zubat move. It's such a Zubat move. Okay, now uh, we have got Sailor Earth. Sailor Earth, okay. Here of planet. Go. Mars. Planet Surprisingly. Mars. Surprisingly. Possibly. Maybe. These from Earth. All right. That's sparks the bottom. All right, Fireball Energy. Fireball Energy. Here we go. We've got Jigglypuff, Staryu, Charmander, Spiro, Slowbro, Machoke, Machoke will score. score. Dugong, Clefairy will not. Articuno will. And the Dragonite will as well. So another three-point pack back-to-back. Back-to-back -back, three-point packs. And we got the Dragonite. Luke was telling me the Dragonite was his favorite Pokemon yesterday. I'm not sure where he got that out of complete nowhere, but... Oh, Dragonite's a great... Great, great, favorite, great Pokemon. favorite Pokemon. I'm just not sure when it happened, you know. Well, you know what? These, by me. these things happen. Yeah. All right, next up is Blue Malamute. Blue Malamute, who I believe at one point in time did win the last place award. So let's see if uh, they are capable of pulling it off once That's again. True. It's been a hot second here, but actually, well, no, no, no. no we're all good. We're all good. We got the Venonat, the Pidgey, the, the Metapod. Oh, uh, ruined by the Metapod. The, the, the Machoke, the Dugong, the, the Dug Trio. Trio. Well, not the Vaporeon. No, because no, of the fighting. Oh, fighting, I'm so sorry. And the, the Vaporeon will also score, as well as the Machamp score twice. All right, so let's see. One, One two, two, three. 
three, four, five, six points. Six points for Blue Malamute. Really strung some together there, but not going to make it to a podium position, I'm afraid. Yeah, we're looking basically somebody in order to um, let's see here. What would the what would the move need to be? Uh, 23 points is currently holding both Quality 8th Place and the Big Steve Award. Somebody right. technically could sneak in between Big Steve and Quality 8th Place because there's a three-point disparity from 23 to 20. You're right, but that um, would still only give them Big Steve, not 8th Place then. That's correct. Yeah. That is correct. So that'd be yeah. very interesting as well. And if anyone gets any uh, 20 or gets 23 points or higher, then we'll have a real situation where people start getting bumped down into eighth place. You're right, you're right, yep. So I'll be excited to see how this plays out. All right, next up we have Monkey Bacon. Monkey Bacon! Monkey Bacon. They're a father and son team. Oh, there we go. Dad is bacon, son is monkey. Well, let's see what we got for you today here. We've got some salad energy, lick a tongue. So many Venonats and Pidgeys. Meta I think we've seen the one, two, three like that. Several times now. Yeah, maybe so. Bloom, Doug Trio, Pidgeot will not score. Ammonite will not score. And the Chansey will. So and it's going to be a four-point four pack overall. So many Metapods. Who would have thought? I don't know. Seriously. Like, what is this? Uh, not a single Zubat yet. Viridian Forest? Yeah, basically. Is that right? Was it I think it's correct. Yeah. Yes. yeah, you got it. Nailed yes. it. There you go. All right, next up we've got Moss Twig. Moss Coming Twig. Coming off a nice season of 26 points. If they get 26 points again, they are, well, they put themselves into position then for eighth place, and they could, they definitely just be playing spoiler for Goddess Princess. Moss Twig feels like the type that would be pulling a, uh, a Metapod here, you know? You like think Moss so? Moss Twig. Moss Twig, yeah. Yeah, Metapod. We got the Poliwag, the Pikachu, the Farfetch, the Shelter, the Lapras, the Cycling Road, the Scyther. Scyther, the Nitto Queen will not score, the Energy Sticker will not score, and the Vaporeon. the Vaporeon! Okay, let's just double check the value on the Vaporeon. We'll do since it, it yeah. is. A single point pack. Let's see, number 134, 33 cents. 33 cents, so, wow. Basically, yeah. um, massive value for a single point pack. If anything, yeah, it's gonna launch you all the way up into like 97th wow. place. Wow, wow. Yeah, and you wanted to be closer there to the bottom, unfortunately, yeah. so 97th, way it. too competitive. I'm afraid so. Next up we have Stacy. Here we go. On a bad day, Benjamin and Jonathan always make her feel better. Oh, they sound like nice guys. Oh, yeah, probably different ones, not different us. Different one, not us, yeah. yeah. I'm here to ruin your day, Stacey. Are you ready? <laughs> Lightning! No Lightning. raucous bubbling! No. Bulbasaur, Growl, the Geodude will score, yeah. the Tauros, the Kadabra, the Ivasaur, the Cloyster, the Aerodactyl will score, and the Ditto will score, so just a three-point pack. I will say, though, two of my two of my favorite, like, just basic rares from the set is the Aerodactyl and the Ditto both, yeah. so kind of a kind of a couple of fun pulls there. Yeah, no, absolutely not trying to ruin your day, Stacey. Not even one bit, nope. Not one bit. Hope, Hope you, you enjoy. enjoy. The there we go. Next up, we have Jacob Wurgenus. Wurgenus? We still don't know. We, we still don't know. It we, still just says like the drink. Oh, like the drink spirit. Virginus. 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 There we go. All right. We, we I just need to read the card a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cat. Cat watching on. She's the one who writes the cards out here for us. Is like, come on, guys. I gave you the answer. I told you. I told you. Oh, oh Rock is Pumbling, Pumbling, our first right. type advantage of the day. So everything will at least be double. We haven't had any critical hits so far, no. to my knowledge. No. Yeah, so we got the Poliwag, the Pikachu, the Farfetch, the Shelter, Hitmon the Hitmonchan, Chan, score. the Sea King, the Butterfree, the Charmander will not score, the Ekans will not score. Oh, oh the Venusaur! Venusaur EX. So there you go, our first uh, type advantage of the day and our first like big ultra rare of the day. There we go, yep. So it uh, comes across as a double rare by okay. technical standards. It's gonna be $2.23. We'll round up to three. three. Four times two is eight points. Eight points, there we go. So I think that's our high, uh, that was actually a unique card for the season as well. We haven't oh, pulled Oh wow, we haven't pulled those. this Venusaur yet? We have not. Well, I there you go. Our, our highest scoring pack of the day so I far. think it is, so there you go. Highest scoring pack of the day. Still not gonna get you on any sort of podium position, unfortunately, but there you go. You get a nice Venusaur. Either way, Jacob, enjoy. You know what else we haven't seen so far? Is what? the any of the hollow energies. You're right, surprising. I know. They're like in they, there. They are in there, so They're something's going there. on inside of this pack. All right, next up we have Bobby with Bobby. two Ys. Oh, yeah. but not what you think. Yeah, well, Did I mean, you just pull the Venusaur? I think so. Oh, okay. Did I? I don't know. I'll go for it. What a rare auger to potentially open two packs in a row. Or maybe just do things exactly as expected. Yeah, I can't remember. Let's see here. Nice and gentle with the cards, there we go. 
Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So that'll score a point right away for you. Then we got the Helix Fossil, the Slowpoke, the Magmar, the Horsey, the Charmeleon, the Parasect, the Cloister, the Golduck will not score, the Sea King will not score, and the Vileplume. So just two points off of that pack. Yeah, but you get the you get you the hollow energy. The so hollow energy. That's throw, super fun. Throw it in a sleeve throw in a for sleeve. you. Just yeah. to, just to like give it a little extra pizzazz. Yeah, exactly. But bam, there you go. Whoop. All right, good job, Bobby. Two points on the season. At least you get the hollow energy, though. Next up is Mistevios. Mistevios. I actually saw Mistevios last weekend in town at GoFest. We sure did. I actually, they won some Legos. Won some Legos in our trivia event. Yeah. So well done, Mistevios. Well Let's done see if you can win anything else here. Yeah, can they take home another prize? Two in one week, the Dark Teardrop. We've got the Doduo, the Tentacle, the Rattata. Squirtle, Onyx will score. Dragonair, the Seedra, the Slowpoke does nothing, the Leftovers does nothing, and the Blastoise! The Blastoise, there we go! Well, there you go, at least taking home a nice, fun, uh, fully evolved starter EX card there. Yeah. Probably not gonna get on the podium with that, but, but still, you get a cool card. Yeah, and worth more than the Venusaur from before, so $6.90, that'll wow. round up to seven, eight points. Eight points, that matches our highest uh, pack total for the day. So Mistevious really just like, kind of batting a thousand here Clean lately. up yeah. in the SCV community recently. Well, well done. All right, next up, we have got Kool-Aid Man. Kool-Aid Man. Oh, this is a uh, Kool-Aid Man of plays games with us once a month fame. Yes, in case yeah. you were unaware, if you'd ever like to come and join Jay and I for an hour of video games one afternoon, we do have that tier available over at patreon.com slash Gaming. It's a lot of fun. We got the eyeball energy for old Kool-Aid Man there. We got the Helix Fossil, the Slowpoke, the Magmar, the Horsey, the Lapras, the Cycling Road, the Scyther, the coughing. Oh, oh look at the Mr. Mime. That is amazing. You'll love to see it. Very and cool. What a full so Let's okay. see how much that Mr. Mime is worth. I doubt it's worth the 44 points you're going to need for first place. Let's see. Number 179 on the set. $3.90 for the illustration rare so Mr. Mime. Or five with the Flareon. There you go, we'll throw it in a sleeve for you. So I think that's the first time we've pulled the Mr. Mime. Yeah, that's a unique pull on the season. So congratulations to Kool-Aid Man. There you go. A breaking through the Kool-Aid wall. That's right. Be like. That's kind of a joke. Kind of yeah. deafening. Yeah. <laughs> Next up is Brian Rogers, aka Kernak McLaggen. Kernak McLaggen. Yeah, sorry, I said your name. They don't actually. It doesn't actually say the McLaggen. We just add that part. Yeah, yeah, we just add that part. Like from Gryffindor. All right, let's see what we've got for Kernak McLaggen here. Oh, we got a point from the Sparkle Energy there. Love there that. Yeah. Horsey, Diglett will score. Drowsy, Polyrath, Pidgeot, Ammonite, Coughing. Weedle and Omastar. No. Oh, oh, my night. Omastar. Yeah, oh, almost a critical hit. No critical hits at all yet today. Just None whatsoever. It's a three, three points. points on the pack for Kernak McLagan there. Taking home the Omastar, the full evolution line at the very least. That's kind of fun. Next up, we've got skill. Skill. Just, you know, straight up skill. It's like, you know what? Sometimes this is like the power of positive thinking. Like, you know, if you, if you just like. If you, if you like smile more, it can make you happier. This is this is like name yourself skill and you will have it. You just have it. Actually, this is sort of funny because we just had Kernak McLagan, but skills, fun fact, is that they're a Slytherin keeper, so it's sort of a little oh, battle look. of the keepers, you know? Do we have a rivalry for Wow, them? all right. I'm just going to have to make note of it here. Yep, there we go. Rival. Because um, we know old Kernak yeah. over there can, uh, can, can catch a fly right clean out of the air. Just zip. I know, right? Really, I'm not sure what Harry was thinking getting Ron on the team. But. Yeah, it seems like the obvious choice was fairly obvious. But either way, all right, so we got an Abra, a Diglett, Diglett will score, the Bulbasaur, adorable, Drowsy, the Giovanni's Charisma, right. the Rhydon will score, the Rigid Band, the Cloister will not score, the Slowbro will not score, and the Dodrio will. So three points, again, lots of three-point packs today. Lots of three-point packs. The Dodrio, again, is kind of like one of these exceptional ones where uh, it's almost worth two points because it comes in, I think, at 92. Two cents. So it's a, as far as like a, a standard hollow is concerned, I think it is the most valuable standard hollow. So Damn, there enjoy you go. the Dodrio. Throw that right in your Zoroark V Star deck. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. Exactly. Yeah, played against one two weekends ago. Did you win? Yeah, I did. Win. Well done. Yeah, 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 yeah thanks. Yeah. So maybe just play Charizard instead. Just play Charizard. Yeah, Charizard's really good. <laughs> Charizard Pidgeot, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Next up is Tempest Blade. 
Uh, favorite Pokemon are Luxray, Pyroar, Lucar. Oh, this is our Lion Man. Lion Man. Lion okay. Man. So played the Lion Man. Oh, and they got the Rockets Pummeling for the Multiplier down there. Let's see how the rest of the pack goes. Oh, the Sandshrew. I mean, the Sandshrew's going to score. The Big Air Blue. The, the Prime, Prime Maple score. The Fearow. The Golduck, not the Polyrath, and, and the, the Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. So it's going to be three times two is six points on the pack, I believe. Yep, that is correct. Well done. There you go. You got the Aerodactyl, Ben's favorite art from the season. I know. It's just, it's just so cool looking. How can you not love that? Actually, I was playing a different regular Zoroark, baby Zoroark uh, deck this morning, and Aerodactyl is one of the cards you play in there, so that's kind of fun. That is really cool. I was cool. actually using this card just this morning. I feel like this might be the second time that I've had one of my favorite cards from a deck be an Aerodactyl. I'm like, am I like a quiet Aerodactyl? Aerodactyl stand. Oh, maybe. Without realizing you it. Know, that would that would even track because I feel like I always like Ammonite and Tyler always really like Kabutops. So okay. that's like the third fossil Pokemon. You know, I'll take You'll it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Anyway, next up we have Alicia May. Alicia May, of, uh, aka uh, Spider Man. Aka yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Let's see. Let's see what Spider Man can do. Let's see it. I don't think there's any spider Pokemon in Gen 1. Ooh, oh, there we go. Okay, so that'll get you a point right out of the gate with the uh, the shiny holographic energy. We've mm -hmm. got the Diglett will score. We've got the Drowsy, the Bulbasaur, the Charmeleon, the Parasect, the Cloyster, the Slowpoke will not score. The Kabuto will. We were just talking about it will. And as well, the Gyarados will. So, so three point pack? So no, one, four point two, pack. three, four points. Yep. There we overall. go. Four point pack. Just crushing it. I feel like. Uh, it's to me. It feels like the best card of the season has not been pulled yet. I agree. Like I there agree. are cards that are uh, by themselves worth more than forty-four points. Right, and I'm pretty sure the forty-four points that we've got came with a multiplier as well. Yeah. So there's yeah. there's plenty of opportunities plenty for of some, opportunity. some big swings to be to be left. You know. Right. The top of the leaderboard has been sitting pretty. You know, every single pack they're just like holding their breath. Right. You know, uh, who is a goddess princess? They've been all over the board this season. They truly have. Yeah, they are really hoping no one gets a good pack at all today because then they're going to be the first person ever to take home double elite trainer boxes. Double prizes! What? Shelter. He, this is for Anthony. Gosh, I didn't say. This is Doe's older son. Slowpoke, Hitmon Lee will score. War Turtle, Hypno Charmander, Machoke will score, and the Raichu. There we go. So that's going to be three points. Overall for Anthony. There we go. Yep, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. But get, you, get yourself the old Raichu there. Yep. Kind of an unsung hero of the saga. Very true. You know, just to get all that glory stolen by the Pikachu. Next up is Brant. Brant. Brant, let's see. Had kind of a slow, a bit of a slow season last time around. Just four points total on the season. All right, let's just see if we can shatter four points. We can points. shatter four that's, points in this one pack. That's let's my goal here. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Maybe the guys in the back are phoning it in. Okay. You know, it's been yeah. a minute. It's yeah. been a minute. Wow. Okay. This could be the, this could be the moment. All right, let's see. The Dratini, the Growl, the Geo Geodude will score. score. Oh, I don't know yeah, why I put know, that guy yeah, down there. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, so the Geo will score. We got the Jigglypuff, the Nidorino. Man, I'm, I'm striking out so far, guys. Well, the guys in the back are striking out. Yeah. Completely different entity. Mm -hmm. uh, the Graveler will score. The Pidgeot will not score. Oh, nope. The Nidoran. Oh, oh, the, the Moltres! Bit of a whiff for the guys in the back, I'm bit afraid. Bit of a whiff indeed. Wow, That's too three bad. points only. Three points. So can't beat last season's total with the single pack, but what was done. threatening to do so. But anyway, better luck next time, Brant. Thanks for playing. Enjoy your cards. Yep. All right, next up we've got Games Bun. Games Bun. As we know, always comes to play. Let's see, they did eight points last season uh, total. So we've had, that's, that's as good as people have done in single packs today. Right, right. So, I mean, yeah. it's like, it seems like it should be striking distance. It does. Point. Bam, another lightning energy. Here did we go. Did you move it down and then move it back up again? Yeah, just for, oh, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, gotta get measures, the current yeah. moving, yeah. Psychic. Ekans, Psyduck, Ekans, Bill's transfer, the goal bat, not a single critical hit yet today, the Sandra. Oh, oh Pikachu! <gasps> that oh, does sit like, mm. that feels, that feels like it's got Feels be. like it's got some points. Yeah, let's see. Let's okay, see what that okay. one's going to be worth there. All Plus right. the Star Mule oh, score man. as well. I'm excited about that one. It feels like it could be pretty solid. You never know with Pikachu cards. It is pretty solid. It's not going to be enough, I think, to disrupt the top of the leaderboard, but it's going to be pretty darn close. We'll see what the extra points there. So the Pikachu is going to come in at 1832. So 19, 20, 21 point pack. Wow. Oh my gosh, which will take over oh. the Big Steve position. Oh my gosh, With the you're Pikachu. Right. Oh my gosh, so Goddess so Princess weird. has been struck down by one of their accolades so far. So. Okay, so weird. Yeah, you're right. Now, at this point, Games Bun now. 
uh, sits directly above Big Steve, who has 20 points, and Games Bun is the only person all season with 21 points, but then uh, they've slotted themselves between Big Steve and Goddess Princess. So Goddess Princess doesn't move down, so they're still in eighth place. Yes, yeah, so they're still holding on to the eighth, the quality eighth place position, but now Games Bun has taken over the Big Steve award. Yes, so they have lost one Elite Trainer box. They still have one. I know. As Gosh. long as no one gets Did any more than 23 st points. Starting the day with both uh, and then, oh and then man, losing okay. both of them by the end. It, uh, I mean, it, it was, was a cool possible. Pikachu, though. It was a cool Pikachu. Great, great pull by Games Bun. Yes, Next up, we have Jess. Jess, okay. Yep. Let's see here. All right, Jess, Jess has been known to pull a good card. I think in, in uh, Jess's rookie season, it was the Lugia. Yes. Is that what it was? Because it came in at like 220 Yeah, you're points. right, you're yeah. right. That's what it was way back here. Yeah. In Silver Tempest. All right, let's see what Jess can Oh, that do. was on her rookie pack, too. She almost played spoiler to Brooke that season. Yes, yeah. you're right, you're right. Uh, and probably the rookie of, of the game show forever. We'll yeah. see if anybody ever outpulls well, that. Let's see we what she can do one here. One point on the board already with the energy there. We got the coughing, the Psyduck, the Ekans, the Cubone will score, the Grabber will score Actually, too. Does, you're right. The Kingler, the Energy Sticker, the Abra will not score, the Pidgeotto will not score, and then the Flareon. Flareon. So, so one, two, three, four, five yep. points. Five points for Jess on that Grabber card. There we go. Not Boom. shaking up the board anymore. But there you go, you never know with Jess what she's gonna pull. All right, next up we have Margo. Let's see what they can do. They worked as a space ranger at Walt Disney World and holds the title of Double Galactic Hero. Oh, does that mean you did it with both guns? Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. That's, that's pretty very good. impressive. We made an entire video, if you've ever done the Space Ranger spin ride down at Disney World on how to get a perfect score. It's still, e like, even if you know how to do it, it's still pretty tricky, but worth checking out. Worth checking it out. It's also on TikTok. Oddish, the Mankey will score, the Meowth, the Energy Sticker, Rhydon will score, Exeggutor will not, Cycling Road, Dragonite scores, and the Weezing. So, Weezing. four point pack there for Margo. Not quite the uh, 9,999 points that they are accustomed to. That's quite all right, though. Enjoy your Weezing. What there a fun, what a fun mon. Weezing. All right, next up we have Rab Rangoon. Like crab rangoon. It makes me a little bit hungry, I'm not gonna lie. It does. We're gonna have to get some lunch after this. We're gonna have to. It's gonna yeah. be up next. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see here. So if we take that one off, we slide. Oh, down. rock oh, is pummeling! Go. So we got the we got the double in effect. We got the polywag, the ponytail, the Pikachu, the Farfetch, the Nidorina, the Eradicate, the Erica's invitation, the Pidgey oh. will not score. No. Uh, wait, was that something? Nope, sorry, nope, I, thought okay. it was, I thought it was the second Pidgey, but it's not. Okay, Tentacruel will not score, and, and the, the Kabutops! Kabutops oh man, so, so four points. Four points, yeah. weirdly. I yeah. know, off of a, a, what would otherwise <clears throat> just be a one point card. Right. I'm just kind of curious what the Kabutops is worth, just out of curiosity. Oh yeah, like, what, any... would that have made a difference? I know, yeah. Is it less than 18 cents? It feels like it could be. Yeah, let's see, number 141, 20 cents! So wow. dangerously close dangerously to having close. been relevant. But it wouldn't have been either way. Wouldn't so. have mattered, so yeah. yeah. Last place is still secure by Nar. Wall King. Next up, we have uh, Rosie the King. Rosie the King, not Rosie Thacking. Right. Yes. As I often read this name. Uh, in contention, though, uh, you know, we got Narwhal King currently in last place. And then we got Rosie the King. Yeah. You know, now, Rosie the King has pulled some fire before with 106 points back in season five. What did they pull? I'm trying to remember what would have done 100 points. I don't. Feels I, like we would have remembered it. It does feel like we would have remembered it. But I don't think they won the season, did they? I don't know, there's been a lot of packs open. We've opened so. a lot of packs. Yeah. You're right. Alright, Metal Energy, so no type advantage. Growls, Geodude will score, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Parasect, Giovanni, Cloyster, Clefairy, the Raichu will score, as will the Dragonite. So it's gonna be a three-point pack for Rozzy this time around. There we go. No hundred point fire. Enjoy Luke's favorite Pokemon, the Dragonite. The Dragonite for now, who knows? He also was requesting the Bayonet episode of Pokemon last night, which I was like, okay. That'd be a really random favorite Pokemon, but you know what? It's okay to have random favorite Pokemon. If anything, I feel like it's better it's to have, better. like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dragonite's it's like, a little basic. <laughs> yeah, a little, no, it's not. A little, little too common. All right, let's see here. We got the Grimer, the Weedle, oh, the, the Zubat! Zubat! Oh long my goodness gracious. I don't think we've seen yeah. any Magnetons at all today. I know, yeah, so we got the Goldie, Graveler the Graveler will score. will score, the Protective Goggles, the Arcanine, the Vulpix will not score, the Lickitung will not score, and the Moltres, Moltres. will for there another three-point pack. Another three-point pack. That was for John Borg. That Did was for know? John Borg. John Borg. Wow, John Borg. Three point pack. There we go. Moltres. Well done, well done John to Borg. I read your name. My bad. All right, next up is Cartavian. 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 The next pack will be. I'm just going to write them down as K cubed. 
Oh! Cartavian, Cartavian, Cartavian. I like it, I like there it. It go. rolls off the tongue. It really is. Um, let's see how they do last season. Seven points, not two shavs there, I guess. We'll see how we do here. Bam, teardrop, energy. Oh, the Zubat right off the bat there scores. We go. the Goldie. Goldie and the Weeping Bell. The Ghastly, the this Cloyster, could be the, Mr. the Lapras, pack. the Cycling Road, the Knitter, and the Paris, and the, oh, the Ditto! Ditto! Well, let's oh, see, what man. is the Ditto worth? I know, that's a good question. It does feel like it's more popular than Mr. Mime, and it's more usable, that's for sure. Yeah, so 47 cents, okay, so not, yeah. e not even close to not last Not even close. Yeah, practically not blowing much. it out of the water. I just, I feel like Zubat <clears throat> is such a troll of a Pokemon. It's just yeah. like, you're just never happy to see it, which makes me feel like in this case where it grants you an additional point, uh, it feels like it's almost just going to play spoiler. Right. Like that's just, that, that feels that's like That's a the, troll. Yes. Next up we've got Smubbles! Smubbles! Smubbles of Coach's Water Polo fame. Oh. That's impressive. That's mm -hmm. that's a sport that I've always felt would be just so exhausting. It does seem very tough. Like, a lot of treading water. Yes, I feel like if I were to get done with a game of, of water polo, I would go and eat like a like a gigantic stack of panned cakes. Yeah, panned cakes. Panned cakes. All right, we got the Tentacool, the Rattata, the Squirtle, the Lickitung, the Golbat, the Persian, the Muck, oh, the Zubat will score, the Clefable will not score, and the, the Mr. Mug! It happened! It happened! It happened! Oh, I no, told you! you know. <laughs> That's so no. The Zubat ruined last place for somebody. Oh, poor Smobbles. Wow. <laughs> poor Smobbles. That would have been the last place pack right there. That could I have done it. it. I you just did. said it. You did. You jinxed Smobbles. What did you do? I'm sorry. This is on you, Ben. I'm afraid. I'm I, I will. I will wear this. <laughs> As a as oh wow a burden a man yeah yeah I'm sorry well next up we've got dragon dragon maybe we'll get another dragonite for dragon let's see here we go and we get something big there's not many dragon Pokemon in Gen one only three so bam oh we got a point a point and another point drowsy Bulbasaur Slowpoke Cycling Road Scyther Charmander oh critical hit. Critical hit? Critical hit on Slowpoke. Yeah. Oh, oh! The Psyduck! <gasps> Amazing! Ooh, That's like that, Bixley's favorite Pokemon. This is Beast, I, I don't know if he's pulled this card yet. This, actually, with the multiplier, now could put Dragon in first place. All right, let's see. Let's see. The Psyduck, I know, is a sought-after card. Love the artwork on that one. I'm going to throw it in a sleeve for you. Oh, man. I don't know if it's going to... Ah! Oh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so $9.09, so 10 points 10. times two. Oh, yeah, we'll, oh, yeah. we'll add everything else up first. So, so, yeah, this is $9, so it's a 10 point card. 10 point card. 11, 12, 13 times two is 26 points. 26 points, which will in fact move Goddess Princess out oh, of the Oh, no, place. Goddess Princess! Now, Carly is now officially with 24 points in eighth place. The Big Steve Award remains as ecstatic as it wow. already had been. Goddess Princess. This also puts Dragon in seventh place. So now they're rooting for anyone to get more than 26 points. Wow. Which would bump them into eighth place. Goodness me. Poor Goddess Princess. Princess, losing out on both of her ETBs. I know, that's that tough. I, I feel like at one point in time, Goddess Princess was in first place, and then in second place, and then in eighth place, and Big Steve Holder, and has lost all accolades along the way. <laughs> what, a, what a journey, what a journey for Goddess Princess. I feel so bad for her. I do too, I do too. Oh boy, but that's the game. Next up is Robo Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Not Robo Wiz. It reminds me of Robotnik. It does. Ro yeah, from, yeah, from the Sonic. Sonic fame. Yeah. Yeah. Is good. Jim, apparently, Sonic 2 was Jim Carrey's last movie ever. That's what he no said. No way! He's just done. He's just done, which is a bummer because, like, Sonic 3? Come on, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? <clears throat> Eevee, Caterpie, Dome Fossil, Weedle, Hitmonchan, we'll score this fire energy. It does not belong down there. The Parasect, the Charisma, the War. <gasps> the Gold Mew! Whoa. And the Aerodactyl! Well, well, well. If we haven't come across maybe the best competitive card from the set in its gold form, this could really mess things up. This might bump Dragon into eighth place. It might just look see. So, uh, number 205 on the set is going to be worth $24.75. We'll round up to 25 26. points. 27! Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. So it does. So Dragon is officially in eighth in place. Eighth place. Carly got to hold wow, it for like one pack, I think. Goodness what gracious. What are the odds? My goodness. So that means, yeah, so Dragon is now in eighth, eighth place. place. Okay, yes. yes. Wow, 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 wow. 
bam, bam, bam. That is that is wild. Well, there you go. Oh, but look at that glorious golden mew. You love to see it. So cool. That My is goodness. Super cool. That is Great super cool. Pull. What a very pull. playable. That's only Robot Wiz's third pack ever. So, <laughs> well done to them. All right. Next up, we have got Jeremy. Jeremy. Let's see. Boy. That was crazy, but no one has knocked off Becky Boris from the front of the leaderboard yet. I know, it's very impressive. Oh my if gosh. they do, who will now fall into, who's in seventh now, Heather Lynn? So let's see, who's up? Jeremy. Jeremy, okay, let's do it. So we got Bellsprout, Horsey, Nidorin, Abra, Sea King, Butterfree, Lapras, Cloyster will not score. Jigglypuff will not score. And the Raichu, Raichu. will. A single point pack. I don't Man. think the Raichu is going to be low enough to score last place. Worth double checking, I guess. Worth double checking just to see. I feel like Raichu is certainly uh, overlooked a little bit. 24 cents. Uh, pretty yeah, low on the spectrum, but not it. low enough, unfortunately. Enough. Raichu Still can't, can't even that. win last. I can't believe that that Mr. Mom. I'm, I I'm know. So real, like, what is, an episode. That is, that is crazy. We totally called it. All right, next up is Marcos. Let's see. Marcos, really into Name of the Wind. I'm about to finish that book myself right now. I'm about to finish Wise Man's Fear again. Oh, are you? I didn't even know you were listening. Yeah, I listen at night when I okay, go to bed. Okay, yeah. wow. Well, well. You know, why wouldn't you? Bam, oh, fire energy will score. There yeah, we go. Get you a point, there we go, the, the Cubone. The Cubone will score, the Vulpix, the Magnemite. So not a single Magneton all day. Scythe there, Charmeleon, coughing, no double types there. Oh, and the Ninetales EX. There we go, okay, how about that? I feel like that was like one of the first <coughs> pulls we had on the whole season. I think so. Number 38, well maybe not, I guess <coughs> I didn't highlight it. So oh. uh, dollar seventeen. So just two, three, four points there for Marcos on the season. We'll throw that nine tails in a sleeve for you and get it in the mail. There we go. All right, coming down to the final few contestants here. I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. Okay, let's Next see Next up is Charcoal. Charcoal, how, well, I guess we don't know how Charcoal is doing this season. How did they do last season, 30, 30 points? 30 points, pretty solid. Great showing, great, great showing. showing. Let's see, if they get 30 points here, they're really gonna mess some people up. They really will. Let's see what we've got. All right, we got the Salad yeah, Energy, we got the Old Amber, the Pidgeotto, the Magmar, the Shelter, the Machoke Choke will scores. score, the Dugong, the Hitmonchan yeah. will score, the Golduck will not score, the Ghastly will not score, and the Moltres will so just for another three-point pack. There we go, there, there you, you go. go. Enjoy the Moltres. Yes, enjoy that Molt. Next up is Tex. Tex? Tex is coming off a 12-point season, and their last two packs have both been a single point. So if they're looking to repeat, then maybe this will be the Mr. Mime. This is the mo Watch this it be the it. one where we get the Magneton. Oh my god, yeah, it'll <laughs> be the Magneton and the Mr. Mime. The, the ever elusive. All right, oh so my Salad gosh. Energy, not a bad start. The coughing. Off to a good. There, you Tangela, the Grimer, the Psyduck, the Sea King, the Butterfree, the Lapras, the Charmander, and the Gyarados. Yes, so it man. is a single point back again. Wow. Tex is very consistent. I guess check the Gyarados. I don't think it's going to be 18 cents. People yeah, love Gyarados. They do indeed. Let's see, number 130 on the set. What will that that do for us uh, 25 cents 25 so again people pecking around the bottom of the leaderboard not able to dethrone narwhal king just yet a very impressive Singular point there. The Zubat, oh my gosh. All right, next up is Ethereal Squirrel. All right, Eth Squirrel. Eth Squirrel, yes indeed. Eth Squirrel, yeah. Well, I, I, I tend to abbreviate Ethereal because of my Diablo 2 days. Yeah, sure. You know, it's like, you know, it's like, oh man, Ethereal, Breath of the Dying Zerker, Ebotids. You know, right. you know what I'm saying? Love go eight Zephyrs. There we go, Jay. That's pretty oh, cool. Oh, right yeah, is cool that right going there. to be? That's just a just two time multiplier with a point, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Cool. Very good. Okay, let's see. Then we and I want to say, is there gold fighting energy in the set? Is it possible? Let me see. Is it possible? Psychic energy. Psychic. Okay, yeah, it's not. Yeah. Okay. It's the Venonat, the Pidgey, the Poliwhirl, the Kakana. Okay. Oh. I feel like we've seen a lot of those. Kakuna. No. Kakuna. Yeah, like Kakuna. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Okay, we got Daisy's Help, Venomoth, Rapidash. Oh, Daisy's, Daisy's Help again. <gasps> Four okay. times multiplier! So we do have a four times multiplier. Wow, okay. what are the freaking odds? That's... Okay, that's all right. Wild. Okay. That's Squirrel. Okay. Let's see it. <laughs> and a Charizard! Uh-oh! Oh! How exciting! All right, four times multiplier and a Charizard. That's gotta be... That's gotta be good, but it is like the base rare in Charizard. I but know. it's gotta be more than the Blastoise. We, do, should we double check how we've been scoring these guys? Because... 
Is there anything that we've been doing differently about the- I don't the... think so. I'm gonna ask so you Ethan. Ask Ethan. Yeah. Okay, I'm back from okay. the official's desk. We made a Double small- check the rules. Well, we didn't make a mistake yet, but we almost did. We are, yeah. Okay, so the hollow fighting energy Normally a standard type advantage gets you the two times multiplier. Because it's hollow, it gets you a four times multiplier. Because and then we the have the critical hit. hit, we have eight it's times It's an eight times multiplier on a Charizard! There's only one scoring card, <coughs> and it's a Charizard. So let's see how it does! Anticipation, please. Oh my gosh. Seven dollars, ten cents, so that's eight, eight times, times eight. eight. is sixty-four! We have a new leader. A new leader! We have a oh new leader, and of course it's Charizard. Gosh, that of course it. it's Charizard. I thought it was gonna be the big alternate rare Charizard, but instead it's regular Charizard EX. Oh my Taking gosh. down the field with sixty-four points! That is Wild! That is so oh, wild. Oh, Becky Borst is just screaming. That is so unfortunate. So that means we now have a two-way tie for eighth place, right? Yes, between between, between uh, Heather Lynn and Robot Wiz. Yes, Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. So Dragon is now out. Goddess Princess is still still nowhere to be seen anyway. She's just having a horrible day. Yep. And then who is sitting in front of Big Steve right now? I think they're still safe at the moment. They're still safe. They're good. That was a 21-point pack. So whoever that was, you're good. Wow, a new leader in the form of Charizard and Daisy's help. Who'd have thought? Who the rock is pummeling. It, it's so it's poetic. It is. It is. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That was for uh, F Squirrel, Ethereal Squirrel, the new leader. Wow. 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 Okay, man. In the final few packs, that's what you love to see. That's why you play the game for the drama. For the drama. I know. Yeah. Man. Exactly. Oh Goodness man. Me. What? What an eventful day. Can anything crazier happen here? Now we have got Hannah coming into the fray here for their season seven pack. I mean, if someone else takes over first place in these final few packs, that's gonna be insanity in the membranity, dude. Let's go. Bam, lightning, energy, nothing happening there. The Vulpix, the Magnemite, the Caterpie, Eevee, the Rhydon, Rhydon Exeggutor, Rigid Bed, Bellsprout, the Tangela! Okay! And the Raichu, so man, the hits keep on coming! They sure do, number 178 on the set. I love that Tangela. Love this artwork, so good. Let's see, so that's $4.76, so five points for the Tangela. Five, six, seven points for the other cards. That is going to be right there for Hannah, seven points and a great Tangela card coming your way. How freaking fun is that? Oh yep. Enjoy the tangle up. Eight times multiply. Who'd have thought? Lauren B is up next from The Bachelor, probably. Probably, most likely. <clears throat> yep. Let's see. We're down to our final four contestants of the season. Can someone play super spoiler wow. to Ethereal Squirrel? We're gonna see. So we got the Rockus Poliwag. Oh, it's the, 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 the multiplier is back. We got, so we got the Poliwag, we got the Ponytail, we got the Pikachu, the Farfetch, the Kadabra, the Ivysaur, man, nothing yet, the Slowbro, the Nidoqueen, Queen, the Dratini, the Dratini and, and the Marowak. So, so it's gonna be just a four point pack. Just, yeah, so one, two, because the type advantage yeah, is there. And then wow. The, man. Lauren B pulled out some Rockus Pummeling, but couldn't land a big hit, unfortunately. Next up, we have Maddie. Maddie! Maddie, who is a longtime player here. They're actually, in their very first pack ever, Maddie pulled a zero point back. That's hilarious. That's amazing. Yeah. Back in season three, when we and still the, had the V the star, star markers. markers, the minus ones. Oh, the rock is bubbling again! What okay. is with the final packs it's here? It's just like, it's just like the, the anticipation Machop. is just building. The Electabuzz, the coughing, the Nidorino, the Golda. Can we get a critical hit? The Tentacle, the Pincer, the Flareon will we'll score, score, and, and the Arbok. Arbok! Oh man, so we're gonna get some kind of fun points. I don't think it's gonna be enough to do anything massive. Let's we'll see, number 24 on the <clears> set is our First of the season on the Arbok, two dollars five cents, or around oh, up to three, three, four, five times two is ten points. So oh really, like gosh. scrapping your way up there, very oh impressive. Gosh. Let's yeah. sleeve up that Arbok for him. Absolutely, do that. There we go. Slide that guy in. All right, two packs to go. Can anybody? I mean, there's still that. Just for what it's worth, the 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 um. <coughs> Charizard Special Illustrator Rare in this set is worth one hundred and thirty-two dollars. Wow! So if so, it's one of the last two packs in here, yeah, then uh, that'll be that. Yeah. So Eth Squirrel at this point in time is just trembling, trembling no in yeah. fear of a different Charizard. Yes. Yes. Oh wow! 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 Let's see how are we gonna do. We've got. 
the eyeball energy. I'm gonna flip it over here. So we got all the cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Do anything no, for us. Yep. Crabby, yep. yep. Sand True, the Seal, the Doduo, the Pincer, Bill's Trancer, Leftovers, Bulbasaur, Raichu will score, and Dodrio. No, okay, no critical so, hits so there. Just three points. Just yeah, we three the points yep. there for Caitlyn. That's who this pack was for. Caitlyn. Here we go. All right, and we are down to our final pack it's of the, final, the season. The are we going to pack. see some last pack magic here? This is Chase. Chase. So we opened the episode with Doe. This is Doe's younger son. So we're yes. closing the episode inside the same family. So start and end. <coughs> I, lo I love when, when people compete as a family. Yep. Always yep. exciting to see. Always very good. Chase, I feel like, is sort of like a like an ominous name with Chase cards. With card. Chase cards out yeah, here? Let's see. So let's Can we see, see something big, Chase? Let's right, see it. So okay, no. No, nothing there. Nothing there. We got the Nidoran, no, the, the Ghastly, the Paris, the Voltorb, the Tentacruel, the Snorlax, the Sandslash, Sand the Kingler, the Venonat will not score. Oh, oh, and it's a Jinx! There we go! Oh, well, I mean, it's going to be worth some points. I don't think it's going to be worth 64 points, yeah. but it's still a cool card. It's still a cool card. So yeah, $4.82 for the Ultra Rare Jinx. There you go, that's gonna be five, six points on the pack for Chase, and oh my goodness, what a final episode. There were so many ups and downs. Poor goddess princess was I sitting know. on two ETBs and lost them both. Oh, and Becky Boris lost, lost <laughs> hers. The only person to hang on for dear life in today's episode was Narwhal, Narwhal King. King. And who, by the skin of a Zubat. The skin of a Zubat, yeah. which is razor thin to the best of my no understanding. No doubt, no doubt, wow. Case, Gotta be so. Narwhal King's new favorite Pokemon, no Must doubt. be, yeah. must be, yeah, very impressive. <laughs> so congratulations to our last place champion for season seven, yes. who is of course, Narwhal King. Narwhal King, and to our champion this season, Ethereal Squirrel. Congratulations, and then moving down the line here, we've got our quality eighth place award, which is gonna go to Heather Lynn. Congratulations, Heather! Woo, you did it! And finally, we can crown our Big Steve champion of the season, Games bun. Games bun. Oh my gosh, what a what a maneuver sliding in right there between Big Steve and Goddess Princess. I mean, a razor thin margin, yes. really. I mean, it's it, you had 20 points at Big Steve, 23 points of Goddess Princess. You had to get 21 or 22, and that is what Games bun was able to pull off. So, what an exciting season! I feel like Pokemon 151 did not disappoint. It did not. Very exciting all around. Just I love that a Charizard was the champion card. I know, yeah. I know. With the eight times multiplier, Woo! it's like it's such a fun way to have like both the uh like the the meta of the game meeting like our own rules that we've established, like coming together to yeah. like create such a cool outcome. So so much fun. It happened in the last episode of the season. So many changes to the leaderboard. Thank you guys as ever. This is a Patreon driven show for us. So we super appreciate your support over there. If you would like to check it out for a future episode of Box Breakers, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash Super Carlin Gaming and selecting any of the Box Breakers tiers. Otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!